Hello everyone, I'm Mr. Furlong, and today we're going to talk about kidneys. So chapter 17 is all about the urinary system, and today I want to focus on the structure of kidneys, both the macroscopic structure and the microscopic structure. But you may be wondering, why is there a picture of spinach here? Well, back in 2006, there was an outbreak of hemolytic uremic syndrome, which is caused by bacteria, specifically E. coli bacteria. In this outbreak, a California farmer was using some irrigation water that was tainted with the E. coli and it was shipped to around 30 different states and in Ohio there were 25 reported cases of HUS in which the capillaries in the kidneys can be destroyed causing the kidney not to be able to do its job. So we'll be taking a look at this filtration process and these capillaries and how important these capillaries are in the kidneys. Now the one nice thing about the urinary system is that there's not a whole lot of organs associated with it. We just have these four, the kidneys that we'll spend most of our time on. There's the ureter, which is simply a tube that takes urine from the kidneys to the urinary bladder, which simply stores the urine. And then finally another tube, the urethra, in which that urine will be discharged out of the body. You may need to pause the video and label your diagram of the urinary organs. Let's take a look at the macroscopic structure of the kidney first. Starting on the outside, starting on the outside, we have the renal capsule. Now the renal capsule is just this real thin area. I'm just gonna put a couple white lines there uh, that go all the way around the kidney. So it's totally surrounding the kidney. The renal cortex is this area between the renal capsule and this white line that I'm drawing. So all of this area makes up the renal cortex. The area that's in yellow is making up the renal pelvis, which means that everything in the middle between the renal cortex and the renal pelvis is the renal medulla. And it's in the renal cortex and the renal medulla where the urine is being made. Now there are some structures within the renal medulla. There's one, there's another one, there's a big one there. But each one of those is referred to as a renal pyramid. And so we can see there's what, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven renal pyramids in this particular drawing where urine is being made. When the, once the urine is made, it's going to be funneled into the renal pelvis. So it goes through a series of smaller funnels. The smallest, for instance, in this one, is what's called a minor calyx. Uh, there's another series of minor calyces uh, that then drain into a bigger funnel, if you will. That would be a major calyx. And here we see some of the major calyces that will then drain into the ureter, which takes the urine to the urinary bladder where it will be stored until we're ready to release the urine. So let's take a look at what the kidneys do. First of all, they remove metabolic waste from the blood and eliminates them. So in other words, it's going to filter out the blood, take all those waste products that are made by our cells, and we're going to put that into the urine so that we can get rid of it, get it out of the body. Now kidneys also will produce hormones. One of the hormones that produces is erythropoietin. We talked about this before. They help to control how fast red blood cells are being made. They help to regulate our blood pressure by producing an enzyme called renin. Remember, our blood pressure can be affected by a many different things. One of them is going to be things like how much blood do we have. The more blood we have in our vessels, the greater our blood pressure is going to be. It also is going to regulate the volume of blood. It's going to regulate the composition of blood, so what sort of things are in the blood. And it regulates the pH of the blood, which in turn regulates the pH of other body fluids. Recall that our tissue fluid is coming from the plasma. And of course, the tissue fluid then goes into a lymph capillary that forms lymph. So the kidney is controlling by removing or putting things back into the blood that needs to be there, in essence then controlling what is in the blood. Now I know that sounds really complicated. We're going to have a whole other video on how the kidney does this. Now let's take a look at the microscopic structure. What is actually in the kidneys that are making the urine are called nephrons. 
And so we say that the nephron is the functional unit of the kidney. Here are all the different parts to the nephron. So you need to pause the video. You want to label this full diagram. And in our next video, we're going to talk about what all these things do to help make the urine. And I can't wait to tell you all about it.